what's the purpose of therapy? I'm going to put it as plainly as I can in this video. What is the point of talk therapy? The way I put it is the reason there is a need for talk therapy at all is a little bit um, difficult really to, to come to terms with, but the real, the real reason we need talk therapy is that most people go through life, go through their entire life without anybody actually listening to them. Isn't that amazing? Your whole life, you know, we can go and, and nobody listens. Not people who are close, um, not people even in intimate relationships, sometimes actually deeply listen, deeply, vividly listen. And that's the reason talk therapy exists, good talk therapy. Uh, the main, there's lots of things that go on in therapy. Um, you, can, you can identify various tools or, or you can go back in and you can, you can identify core beliefs and significant milestones or traumatic experiences that shape the person's um, life and maybe heal from some of those. But really, it's just the act of listening itself. It doesn't sound like much. I mean, we're all capable of listening. Really, we're capable of hearing, but really to deeply listen is actually a skill. It's not actually that easy. It's, it's quite... Uh, it takes, it takes a certain degree of skill or uh, certainly a willingness at least to do. And a, and a listening is, to be listened to is to be met without an agenda. So the therapist meets the person and whatever the therapist's beliefs are, and they do have beliefs, you know, and perspectives, they're kind of just taken there's an awareness by the therapist that these are my perspectives, these are my biases, these are my ways of seeing things. I'm going to park that now, and I'm just going to listen to this person. And that's it. Um, so I'm not like comparing what this person says to my own perspectives. That's not really listening. It's just meeting the person where they are and acknowledging, sometimes reflecting back to them, that that's what you've heard from them. So that's it, that the real purpose is, and the huge value in talk therapy is when a person feels truly understood. Because when you feel understood, what you feel is less alone in life. And the core of so many problems for so many people is that feeling of being alone, being cut off, being by themselves. In isolation, that's where all our neurotic thought processes and beliefs come. That's where the, what I call the defective story really thrives in isolation. This belief, when I'm in isolation, I can, I can almost start to convince myself that this idea that there's something wrong with me has some merit to it. And then our, our fears and everything come out of that. But to be understood makes you feel connected with another person. So they talk about the therapeutic relationship being very, very important. But that is, that is what I would suggest is the main purpose of therapy, to feel heard by another person. So I hope that's a useful video. Maybe it'll help anybody who's, uh, who's ever wondered about the purpose, the purpose of therapy or what goes on in therapy. And uh, of course, if you're considering therapy, maybe that might help you understand how it could be helpful. But I'll leave it for there for today, guys. And as, as usual, thanks for being with me. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.